Hi everybody, my name is Kaylee Rain and I'm four years old. My favorite animal is an elephant. I want to be a doctor because I could give everybody shots. Let me show you. It's this outfit and and guess what guys? This is a long sleeve. This is the tutu, and this is me. And this top is rainbow. Hi, I'm Ringozika Okeke, a designer based here in Los Angeles. Hey guys, my name's Erin. I'm a fashion designer based in LA. I'm getting elephants, rainbows, what else, unicorns. We have a lot of bright color. At the bottom, it looks like a tutu, so I'm thinking a lot of netting, a lot of tulle. Purple, like tutu dress. And she has a unicorn on it. I'm trying to see how I'm gonna do this. She mentioned something about some sleeves. The drawing is amazing, spot on. We'll see what we can do with it. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I can really work this out. What else can you expect from a four-year-old? They like them rainbows, they like them unicorns, they like them tutus. So, I'm gonna have to supply her with her needs, okay? So, let's get to work. All right, challenge accepted. Let's go, girl. So I'm thinking today I'm looking for a lot of tool, stuff with a lot of color. So I'm about to take you guys on the journey with me. So let's see what we can do. I think my hardest part is gonna be trying to find rainbow fabric that I like. Okay, you guys, so one of the things baby girl kept mentioning in the video was rainbows. So look what I found. Rainbow too. I just found rainbow elastic. I mean, it's purple, which is probably good. So it kind of matches the the weight, the, uh, the tool skirt. Like, look at that, like, look at that. That's gonna be sick. Okay, we're gonna do this for me. So I think we're gonna go with this one, guys. All right, we got the goods. Kaylee, I'm ready for you, girl. Let's do this. Where did you do it? Yes, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Okay. Boom. So I looked at her picture and I figured that my approach would be to honestly chop it up into two pieces. So I started at the top, which can typically be the most extensive work that you do. So I wanted to get the hard part kind of out of the way first and then go into the easier stuff. So what did you think when you initially saw her dress, like her sketch? You know, she has some color blocking going on. Yeah. At first, at the top, right? Yes. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna take a color block approach. And then she's like, oh, it's rainbow. I'm like, so where the orange crayon at, sis? I don't see no <laughs> orange in this. I see a little bit of red and red. Like, I don't, right. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're doing, we're doing rainbow. How about you though? This is adorable. First off, I just couldn't get over how cute she was. Yes. So I just was like, okay, let me play it back because yeah. we need to get over that. Okay. <laughs> so once we got over the cuteness, the adorableness, I think it's something um, magical about that whim oh, yeah. that children have. And I saw that in her outfit too. So I like it. So I felt like it's a lot of, you know, opportunity to play with color, to play with texture and just kind of mix it up and do whatever so now here we are like five or six different fabrics trying to figure out how to incorporate <laughs> them all huh i found my love for fashion design way back in like kindergarten <laughs> i i was known as the girl in elementary school who like draws like like fashion figures and i used to do the whole like big heads and like cute outfits and Everyone would tell me, oh, you should be a fashion designer. You should be a fashion designer. And I was like, what is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> and so then I found out and I was like, oh, okay, like I could do this. Uh, and so ever since then, I was just like, this is what we about to do for the rest of our lives. <laughs> kind, kind of serious, but you know, serious decisions happen at mm -hmm. young ages sometimes. I can tell you right off the bat, halfway through undergrad, I was 19 years old, full of hopes, full of dreams. Didn't know how to sew a seam, but we made it happen. <laughs> that rhymes too. That was hot. Bar. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> right now, I am attaching the overlay. 
the rainbow overlay to, again, the bodice, vocabulary word of the day, for the top of her dress. Honestly, when I get done with this, I want to ask her if I can make one for me too. <laughs> can we be twinsies? Because be I just want to wear a rainbow tool too. I think one thing that's lost on a lot of people about fashion design is there is so much math involved as well. Hems, seam allowances, measurements for the right people, like it's a ton of math. Yep. The top and the jumpsuit that I was making was taking longer to cut out than I had expected. I don't know, I'm freaking out like I ain't got no more time. I think it's because I haven't like started sewing yet. I think that's why uh, I'm like. But if you're like mapping all your pieces out first, I think that saves you time too. That was really the piece that I was excited to make because I knew it would catch the lights really well and I didn't want to leave it out in any kind of way. That's one thing, everybody has their own yep. uh, design style, Technique. they have their own process style. Mm -hmm. So however you start making your, the zipper popped, but you know, stuff happens. Yeah. Now I am in a tight seat because I'm basically hoping and praying that I don't have to use a zipper. Yeah, I mean, luckily I cut the the bodice, mm -hmm. the jumpsuit part, a little bit bigger. Luckily I, I, I cut the, um, the sequin fringe bigger. So the over. I'm hoping we be all right. Halfway through the process, I'm like, okay, I spent way too much time on the bodice, which is the top of the dress, um, but it was done, it was out of the way, so now I was making my way toward the bottom, trying to figure out what the skirt was gonna look like, what the waistband was gonna look like, if I was gonna put a zipper, you know, all those other elements, but at the halfway mark, definitely the pressure was on. I was sweating, you see it, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Oh, this is a whole 180 from how I was before. I was chilling before. <laughs> I don't be doing these time things, but right, y'all, right. I'm feeling the burn. I haven't even started on my my freaking jumpsuit. I'm still doing the skirt. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely overestimated the time that I was gonna take. Uh, I was trying my best to keep my cool and not to stress out. So I wanted to do uh, like some sort of jacket or bolero as well as a dress, but once I saw that time was running out quicker than I thought, then I decided to just do a lot of detail on the sleeves and just kind of leave it at that. Uh, and then at the end, I just had to kind of slap the <laughs> sequin fabric wherever I could find. The final look I am very proud of. It had a lot of the elements. I didn't incorporate much of the, like the elephant or the, the unicorn, like the actual animals. But I think that things were kind of reminiscent of that. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! Overall, I think it turned out really good. I think it looked amazing on her and I'm really happy with it. Oh. <laughs> the final look. Well, the skirt I'm fine with, I'm happy with. It turned out great. If anything, I would have probably cut a little bit off of the bottom just so that it didn't drag too much for her. So I just made the base, kept it simple, and I wasn't able to do any finishing for the sleeves or for the neckline, so please do not get mad at me. I'm all about quality, but I did not have time. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. I got the purple skirt, I got her rainbow, and I even added a rainbow of her name on her waist. <laughs> I'm definitely nervous. I'm happy with what I did. At this point, you never know. I'm nervous because I did not get to finish the outfit the way that I wanted to do. Hey, it is what it is. We had a great time. We gelled and had a good True. sewing experience. Oh, don't worry. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> it's the sparkle. It's the sparkle. I was really not expecting her to choose my outfit. I thought the outfit, let's, let's keep it real. That was popping, okay? It was so nice, it was beautiful, iridescent. She loved the rainbow, so it is what it is. You want this one in your favorite outfit? Because it's yeah. rainbow and it's sparkly. Thank you to the designer. 
Thank you. It's the sparkles. Bye. 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 <laughs> Shout out to Kaylee for liking my dress, girl. I'm glad you did not look at them edges that were unfinished, girl. I just want to thank myself. I want to. I want to thank my cover stitch. His name is Sergio. He always been a real one for me, fam.